What is up, real world? Twist of luck. I hope everybody's good. Thanks for being here. I always appreciate you. So, hey, quick word. Uh, while everybody's attention was being directed to the Titanic sub, uh, lab-grown meat was cleared for sale in the United States. So, hey, that's exciting, right? Um, and, and you know that's going to be a great thing. Uh, you know, we're all excited for lab-grown meat, whatever the hell that even really actually means behind the scenes. We're very excited for that. But we know it's approved for sale now, so we know it's safe and we can trust it, right? Just believe it and consume it because the three-letter agencies that protect us and overlook our foods and drugs and things like that, they would never allow something that would be harmful or or experimental or anything like that. So enjoy lab-grown meat. That's disturbing. But anyway... Before uh, we start talking about all that, one of the, well, there's so much going. That's just lab-grown meat. Just one thing going on behind the scenes while while they're saying, "Look over here, look over here." If you didn't see the short video I put out, uh, the newest short video about the uh, Ocean Gate sub prior to this one, they might these both might be out in the same day, so uh, it's possible there's one before this. So go look uh, with some additional information and suspicions if you didn't already see it. So. Um, but we were also talking about, and, and perhaps this is something, perhaps the Ocean Gate thing is to distract from something else big that we were already talking about, right? Uh, that, uh, that more and more people are talking about, but not everybody's talking about. And that is the strange and very suspicious weather that continues, <clears throat> right? <clears throat> Excuse me. Right through all this that's been going on, the weather continues. The other day I showed you the, the nonstop uh, strobe lightning and I should have been, I meant to mention this, I should have been more clear. I know better than to be very, very, not to be very, very specific, right? I, I should be very, very specific all the time because without fail, there's going to be somebody that's like, well, it's this and that's, and, and well, what about this? So for the, somebody commented, I think it was on Twitter, um, that it's normal. It's just far away lightning. It's just far away. You're not, I've been seeing this forever. So I should have broken it down and stupefied it. And yes, I've also seen examples of that forever, but never have I seen an example like I saw there. But I'm glad you think you you know where I was and where the lightning was. It's great for that person. But it was uh, not far away from me. It was, in fact, very close to me. And later, as it moved on, uh, it was directly over me. Um, It was... It was also raining a little bit, so I didn't actually, uh, I, I didn't record much of it then, but I did record a little clip where it's doing the same thing directly overhead, still no thunder, right? So that was weird. You know, I'm not, I, I don't know why people think that, you know, people make videos, I don't know, just for, just to do it, just to say nonsense, just to do it, to be like, oh, look at this. I, I don't know. I'm not going to come out and say something is strange if it's not strange, right? I'm very familiar with lots of common strange things and other things, and I point out the oddities, right? Examples of things that I've always seen, but this one is different. So that's, you know, so yes, that lightning was actually very close to me, which was part of the reason it was so strange, that and the duration of it. But today we had an example of nonstop thunder with no lightning, which was very odd. And again, that was right over us. It was another one of these storm systems that form in that same area that I was talking about before it even started that I was suspicious about. If you watch all these videos, you you remember that video that I said, this area over here, I'm suspicious about it, things that I'm seeing over here, and now we've been seeing it all come from over there. It's happening now, right now, last night, this morning, later today, tomorrow, it'll be still going on, right? So um, they just keep forming in that same area, and you can actually see it be created on the radar, and then start moving over to Florida. It's either over the ocean or over land, and it comes over to Florida, right? But today, we had another big system it was very early this morning, uh, super early, um, while everybody was still in bed. It was a, a big system. I had been tracking it throughout the night until about 3 a.m., 
and uh, it was almost here. And when it got here, it created insane winds, like wake you up from your sleep winds, and thunder. Just a constant rolling thunder. Like literally what I mean, I don't mean like a thunder, then a few seconds later another one. I mean a constant, non-stop. My wife was like, she didn't know what the hell it was. She was actually thinking, what the hell is going on? No flashes of lightning to be seen and a constant non-stop thunder and a constant non-stop insane wind, right? Insane wind, like we've been talking about that we that we keep seeing, which just isn't normal. So after this storm passed earlier and things cleared up, I went out in the sun. It, it was bright out, right? So I went out to look at the sky and this is what the sky is looking like. Odd, huh? We see a lot of that too, don't we? So this is, again, always seems to happen right in front of the sun. These lines are drawn right in front of the sun. Just coincidence, I'm sure. Again, just coincidence, right? And um, the sky was completely littered already. And then a short time later, after all this, this is what it looked like. And this is a time where nothing was on the radar. Nothing's on the radar. The sky is clear, according to radar. Uh, clear of anything natural, I guess that is. And um, so I'm curious what's going to come of that now. But what's odd, too, is my wife and I were just talking about uh, earlier today that for the past at least couple years, few years, I don't know, we've talked about we just don't get the summer thunderstorms that we used to get anymore. Uh, in Florida, we used to get a lot of really good thunderstorms. And, um, you know, there would be the sea breeze would come in and depending on where it's coming from, we'd get a strong storm. And, um, and, and it's, uh, hold on, some a moron in front of me. Oh, geez. Yeah, that, that, that fits. That's very fitting. You should see this. You should see this. He just cut me off in traffic. Now he pulled in front of me in the gas, gas station. And yeah, you should see this. That's what I'm talking about. There. Look at that. I don't know what this is. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. Yeah, these people are weird. People are weird. I was in the left turn lane when I was coming to put into this gas station, and he merged over into me. If I wasn't paying attention, uh, I would. I probably would have pit maneuvered him. And uh, yeah, they're they're very special looking. Uh, they have got like contraptions all over this vehicle and things glued to it. Pretty weird. I don't know. It's weird. It's weird. Anyway, the, the afternoon thunderstorms, we weren't getting them anymore, right? And there used to be good ones, and we'd like nighttime storms. We used to talk about it, right? And we get a storm every once in a while, but it just hasn't been happening. And now, summer isn't even here, and it's we're, we're getting these huge, record, first-ever, rare storms, right? But they're coming from over in that area, the Gulf, Texas, that area, and coming over. And it's early in the year than they normally would be. So all of it is just really weird. And um, it's not normal. And again, this is another example of things that I'm very familiar with Florida weather. We've been here for a long time. And I don't see lightning. Or I, I've been hit by lightning. You know, so lightning's not a rare thing in Florida. So I don't see lightning. I'm like, whoa, look, this is weird. Or I see a storm be like, whoa, what's going on? It's a storm, right? Or, oh, hail. You know, but when we have like bowling ball size hail and we have sustained hurricane winds steady during a thunderstorm that popped out of, you know, that came over from Texas or wherever it is, that's weird, right? When we have strong regular thunderstorms, we have gusty winds here and there, whatever. We don't see things like we see now. And we've been paying attention to the sky art and things for a while. And we're seeing flooding. This is all the things we've talked about, right? We're seeing tornadoes. We're seeing flooding. We're seeing record winds, wind damage, all sorts of things. And I keep saying, watch that area over there. You know, we're going to, things keep coming out of that. I'm watching it every day and every single day, things are coming from over there. And then there's, of course, the people that tune into the TV all the time for all their facts and information, right? They're like, duh, everybody knows what that is. It's, it's the climate and, you know, those words that were forbidden to say. Because 
you know, we don't talk about that because we are supposed to obey. Yes, that's exactly what causes it. We shall not say anything different. We will obey. We will obey. Right? You know, we can't say, we, we can't go against the rulers. We can, we dare not speak against the rulers. But for those of us paying attention, it's super weird. It's super, super weird, especially if you specifically pay attention to it like I have been doing very closely for the past weeks, right? Watch the the weather patterns. And if you're in an area that's getting the weird weather, watch it. Pay attention to it. Look at the radar weather. Where is this stuff coming from? Are you seeing it form over and over in the same exact area over and over, then travel a great distance? What was it? Derecho. That word derecho? Never heard that before. Never, ever heard it before. And now suddenly in 2023, here it is, kind of like the Saharan dust, which where did that go, right? The Saharan dust, usually they say keeps thunderstorms away and stuff like that. And it was allegedly on its way here. And now suddenly there's no more talk of it. And uh, we got these strange, severe storms popping over every single day and they're getting nasty. And there's a lot of flooding rains with this too. And we're into hurricane season. Florida last year saw record flooding during hurricane season. So now if these storms are already drenching areas and then coincidentally they get hit by some sort of record hurricane or some kind of tropical storm, tropical system or something like that, wouldn't that also be coincidental and definitely not um, manufactured or planned or anything like that. Got to be careful. Got to be careful. I'm saying it's not that. Definitely not that. Everything is definitely natural, right? That's officially what I am saying uh, for the record. Wink. Uh, so anyway, share your thoughts. Let me know. This is something we're going to continue to follow and you know pay attention to. And uh, share your thoughts. This is some wild stuff. We're in record times. We're probably in the most historic times for a whole bunch of reasons right now than ever in history. Thanks for being here. Twist of Luck Truth. I'll see you soon.